So we're in Jacksonville waiting for the job to open up. Wow. And the Korean War started, and the school became scared of getting students, and they, they put me off, so I'm back looking for a job again. They were scared they wouldn't get students? Huh? They were scared they would not be at, get students? Yeah, because of the war. So I was back to looking for a job again. So I was trying to find this man who was the chief engineer of a radio station there. And this guy also had a, a business and sold audio stuff in Jacksonville called Southeast Audio. I, I go by the studio and beat you with the transmitter. I go by the transmitter and beat you with the store. It's round and round and round and round. I was about to give that up. So one, one trip more to the store to see Beecher. And so your mama was double parked outside. And I went in. And this guy, Clark Overton, he's seen me before. And he calls to me. He points me to this guy called Howard Jewett, who was the chief engineer of WDAR in Savannah. He says, this guy's looking for a job. I was hired in Jacksonville to go to Savannah. Wow. Well, we built this little house I showed you the picture of. I'm about a year at WDAR. A next door neighbor was a salesman at WTOC. He knew me and got me an interview at WTOC. I was hired there. Wow. And TOC is the one that was in Pembroke. So after about a year at WTOC, we got our construction permit to build television. You got what? Construction? So we got a federal permit to build television. Oh, oh. So I was one of the three that built the television station, see? Wow. But I never discount the advantage of friends and networking and contacts. That's the only way I ever got a job. That's true. That's... Except my first one. I wrote tons of letters. I was finally hired down in Fort Myers. That was your first job? Yeah. Was that after you taught? Huh? Was that was that your first job after you taught in the service? Or my first job out of Bob Prezo Technical Institute. Before you got in the service then? Back in those days, you couldn't hardly walk in the door of a radio station without a federal license. So I had my FCC license. And so I wrote tons of letters and they, and they hired me at WINK in Fort Myers. Wow. In a little jerkwater town down there in southwest Florida. Jerkwater? It was nothing. It wasn't called jerkwater. Huh? Was it called jerkwater? Uh, no. Fort Myers was nothing back then. Oh.